What's going on guys, Mr. Miller815 here and today I will be doing the follow up review for the Bravo Concealment Outside the Waistband Holster. So before I get into that, go ahead and slap that subscribe button for me and like and comment on this video so I can keep bringing you guys content. Uh, so let's get right into it. Again, this is the Bravo Concealment Outside the Waistband Holster. I did add the pancake clips to it, which I will get into in a little bit. Um, but let me jump right into my five point holster necessities that I think any holster should have. Uh, but first, as always, there is a clear chamber. There is no magazine. This is a clear and safe firearm. So the first thing on that list would be the trigger guard. How well does the trigger guard protect your trigger? As you can see, this is fully covered. There's absolutely no issues whatsoever on this. Uh, this polymer material is very rigid, so it's definitely not moving anywhere. I mean, I'm squeezing this pretty hard, and there is getting absolutely no give in there. So I highly doubt I will ever have an issue with this. So trigger guard absolutely passes 100%. Next thing would be the retention. And if you didn't hear it the first time, let me do it again for you guys because I love the sound. Click retention. That means it's in there. No issues whatsoever. I played around with this. I couldn't get it to fall out even when I tried on the lower setting of the retention. So I did mess with the retention. I did like it near the middle. So I kept it at that. The retention grade is 100% pass. So let me get this holster on for you guys and I will show you the concealment part as well as go over the comfort and everything else. Uh, so just give me a second with that and I'll be right back with you. Okay guys, I'm back. Uh, so let's talk concealability. As you see, I do carry about three, four o'clock most of the time. Uh, this does not print, you know, damn near whatsoever. This is a full size Glock 17. Uh, so this definitely passes the concealability test with an asterisk because, you know, I am carrying a 17 that some clothing articles may give you issues with that. Uh, when I was wearing it with, you know, my Glock 43, no issues whatsoever. So just know if you guys are carrying a full-size pistol, you might have some trouble. And the fact that I have this tactical muffin top doesn't help, and it kind of does push the pistol to the side. Um, I do have to say that the pancake clips help with that quite a bit. I did try it with the standard clips, and there wasn't too much of a push out from my body, but the pancake clips are definitely the way to go. Uh, so again, that's 100% pass with, with an asterisk for, you know, depending on what size pistol you're carrying. Uh, as far as comfort goes, I got to give it another pass. I wear it all day with my, you know, you know, just sitting around the house or when I take my daughter for a walk or sitting, you know, driving, whatever the case is. Uh, half the time, I definitely don't even realize it's on me. Um, so that is a huge plus. Uh, just know that I do recommend you guys wear a proper gun belt um, just because of being outside the waistband, even with a bigger pistol. Even with my Glock 43, I would notice that with my run in the mill, just Cole's dress belt, that it would you know shift around and move on its own just from me walking around. So I put on my uh, Hanks, Hanks belt, Hanks uh, leather, 100% reinforced Kydex belt, and I've had absolutely no issues with sagging on it or whatsoever. Um, and then the fact that you can adjust the ride height up and down makes a huge difference in your comfort. So you can get it to sit pretty much wherever you want. So again, definitely passes the comfort portion. Uh, as far as value, you guys cannot beat the buy one, get one right now. Um, you'd, have to, you'd honestly have to be crazy to not go and take advantage of that offer. Um, so overall, I 100% recommend this holster. Um, you know, from the top down, from the experience that I had with customer service to the comfort and value, and then obviously the, the buy one, get one is just a huge, huge factor for why you guys should, you know, should definitely try it out. Um, go ahead in the comments below and let me know what you think. If you've had any, you know, issues or experiences with the uh, Bravo concealment or any other outside the waistband holsters you guys might want me to try out, um, I'll definitely get to it. And as always, stay vigilant.